Why would anyone befriend a chatbot? And what would that even mean if they did? The whole idea might sound ridiculous on its face, but it's becoming more common every day. Social chatbots, as they're called, are now everywhere, from companies like Replica, Pi, Xiao Ice, and others. Some are designed to be study buddies. Others are companions offering comfort and support, and still others are geared towards long-term connection and even romance. These aren't the customer service chatbots you're used to, ones that help you track a package or reset your password. These are designed to be confidants, shoulders to cry on, sources of reassurance and understanding, and even life partners. Their popularity is only going up, particularly among Gen Z and Gen Alpha, those digital natives who grew up with smartphones in their hands. But what actually drives adoption? Is it loneliness? Is it novelty? Is it just fun? Or is there something deeper happening here? In today's paper, the authors are trying to answer that question. They recruited 150 participants who interacted with a social chatbot and then completed surveys measuring emotional support, attitudes towards AI, loneliness, hedonic motivation, trust, privacy concerns, and usage intentions. Then the authors applied structural equation modeling to test a series of hypotheses about how these variables relate to each other. On today's episode, we're going to walk through their methodology, focusing on their statistical model, and then dig into their findings. If you're already a member of Journal Club, you just got access to this episode. Log in and watch it anytime. See you there.